Hi and welcome back. Now before we start, just for those who are just beginning their journey on cloud computing, I'd start by first letting you all know what exactly is cloud computing. So I'm taking this reference directly from the Microsoft site on what their definition is of cloud computing. And I find this to be the most accurate description on what exactly goes into cloud computing. It is the delivery of computing services, servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, intelligence, and even more. These are all keywords which we are going to look at in this particular course. Now, all of these services, whether it be servers, storage, databases, etc., all of these are delivered over the internet. That's what the cloud is. So these are some important keywords. Now, because of the delivery on the cloud, this allows us to deliver solutions more faster in an innovative style and also to be more flexible when you are delivering your applications to your users. Now, apart from this, some very other important concepts. Firstly, you only pay for the services you use. A very, very important concept when it comes to cloud computing. This helps you lower your total operating cost for your entire infrastructure. It also allows you to efficiently scale your business as the need changes. So I said I've taken this from the below reference. And when we go deeper into this course, you are going to understand all the key words in this definition of cloud computing. Now over here, I'm showing you a picture of a traditional data center that a lot of organizations have. So in a data center, let's say you want to host a number of applications for your organization. In order to host these applications, the organization itself would first invest money to buy these big racks, to invest in buying physical servers, in the networking, in the cabling, in the data center itself, the lighting, the cooling, the personnel, the IT personnel to take care of this data center. Now, this is a lot of investment. If you want to get started on building and deploying and giving applications to users across the world, large organizations would have or tend to buy these data centers. So there's a lot of money, a lot of investment taking place. But in cloud computing, all of this, so if I go back to this particular picture, this entire data center does not need to be managed by you. All of this will be managed by the cloud provider, in this case, Microsoft. So in cloud computing, you don't need to manage those data centers. You don't need to buy physical hardware upfront. So there's no capital investment from your side. You can create resources on demand on the cloud, and we're going to see this in detail. And obviously the biggest plus point, you only pay for how much ever you use. And this is the future of computing. Everything is moving to the cloud. All organizations are moving on to the cloud. Now in the next chapter, I just want to give some examples on cloud computing.